I ain't never been the same, baby. Do want I could be a good for you. And I ask one, this is what I'm making. Baby, me, little baby. Let me stop. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man. And today, we gonna be watching how big is the underground scene compared to the mainstream by that boy Ten Toes. And now, in my opinion, the underground is starting the underground rap scene scene. Ugh, trying to get it out. It's starting to become like a little more bigger than mainstream only because we ain't got those type of heavy hitters to like, you know, really put mainstream back on. You know, but that's just my opinion about it. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. Now that being said, like the video already is just messed up. But that being said, let's get started with the video. You dig? So as times change and rap music evolves, we're constantly mm -hmm. being introduced to these new artists who have nothing but time and potential. And because this, those who quickly become familiar with this upcoming scene, they become heavily invested. And this dim spotlight creates what we would call an underground rapper. And in cases like we're seeing right now, with multiple rappers all breaking through and being bubbled in together, all receiving the most love on a specific platform, which is TikTok, this is a new wave. And we're watching it form right before our very eyes. And one thing about rap music and life is history repeats itself and reoccurring patterns show in a lot of situations. And with waves of rap music, it goes through three stages, the start, the peak, and the end. So it's very fitting that it's happening right now because we are currently in the end of this melodic trap era. It started in 2011, 12, and 13 with artists like Future, Young Thug, Speaker Knockers, Chief Keef. Although they might not have been the highest selling artists at the time, they were the new sound. That was the youth at the time. And because of the influence and impact, what followed was a decade of iconic melodic trap music. Whether it was love and drugs and heartbreak or melodic street pain, that's what's been running the rap game for the past decade. Although it's more evident than it's ever been that from 2021 to now, this wave is finally coming to an end. As in, these artists might not even be getting worse. Because I'm saying the subgenre itself has passed its peak. That's why you got... He, he spin facts right now. And spin facts right now because shit's starting to sound the same now. You know, people ain't really, you know. Bro, we so shook at these album sales for artists you thought were more popular. It's because the genre itself has taken a dip. So it's still super high up, but it started its decline. It's no longer just constantly rising. And it's not ironic that in the years 2021 to 2024, we saw the first batch of all these new wave rappers breaking through. Yes, the mainstream rappers are still pulling in way more numbers. Like, I'm pretty sure Polo G just got 100k comments when he said, if I get 100k comments, I'll drop this song. So, like, we can't argue. They still got great numbers. But the new gens be saying they're washed. Now, music's subjective. I'm not about to sit here and argue if an artist is good or not. But what I can tell you is it's becoming more and more evident that this new wave is taking over. I mean, just look at all the attention these artists are getting on social media. And this all leads me to ask the question, how big is the underground scene actually? Compared to the mainstream, compared to these artists who we look at as global superstars. Well, first things first, what we can't do is look at monthly listeners. Why can't we? Because once an artist becomes backed up by the industry, as in the labels are spending millions of dollars promoting these artists, getting their name in playlists, commercials, and all that, it gets to a point where the music's being streamed and consumed by people who don't even know who the artist is. And that's respectfully, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a goal that every artist has to make it that big. But we can't compare the numbers on streaming sites between the mainstream and the underground because it's just not an accurate representation. What should you look at? Well, a few things, the YouTube views, the engagement they have, and especially audio videos rather than music videos and YouTube leaks from other accounts. This will show you how many people genuinely enjoy the music. And after looking over numbers from both the mainstream and this quote unquote underground wave, it's very complicated because there's a lot of levels to this mainstream and the lowest level isn't too far off from these poppin' new gen rappers. Mm. Think about it. Like Ian and Laser both getting millions of views. Nespen's recent music video got over a million views. That's more than some of these rappers that you... I got a quick question. Who the hell is Nespen? That's, that's all I want to know. It's not that I don't know him. It's just I've never heard of him, actually. If this camera don't fucking focus... 
I'm gonna strangle the shit out of you, you fucking camera people. You fucking focus. Now look what you made me do. I got full of shit back up in here. There we go. Well, yeah, who is him? Let me know in the comments. Consider me stream. Nav and Ellie Chapa, A Boogie. Yes, I know these artists have a bigger following and can pull more numbers overall, but this shows the direction rap music is heading in because with this shift, these lower level mainstream artists who peaked like six, seven years ago, they're slowly becoming things of the past. And while partially we can blame it on their music career, it has a lot more to do with the direction of rap music and just farthering from that artist's sound. And while some can shift and shine in other waves, not everybody will. But I got something very interesting to show you, so keep everything I just said in mind. And let's take a look at this. On the screen now is a representation of the mainstream and the new gen. And I also have indicators showing the levels to it because both have multiple levels to it. Yes, the top might seem very high. You guys gotta understand, these signed artists who are getting millions of dollars from the label are being pushed to a whole nother level. And the numbers that they have, nobody could compete with unless you're in that category. And keep in mind, yes, the previous wave reached its peak, but it's still on the come down. The trip is not over. Like, there's still a lot of 2016, 17, 18 artists who are going to remain selling over 100K for a good while. And some are going to change their sound to adapt to modern day standards. Like, Drake's always been so good at this. But the previous sound that's been cutting it for the past 10 years, it's reached its peak. And now we have all these rappers speedrunning the underground scene and almost making it to that lower level mainstream in a matter of months. It's clear in five to ten years, rap will have fully shifted into its new wave. With rappers like Kenny Yee going as far as they did already, it almost assures this. And to give an exact answer to how big the underground scene is compared to the mainstream, basing it off the highest selling underground artists, they're occasionally reaching a million on music videos, easily pulling in over 100k on audios. Like I said, that's not far from the lowest level of a mainstream artist. So in that aspect, the sizes are similar, right? Well, basing the best-selling underground artist compared to the best-selling mainstream artist, out of 100% in that being the mainstream, the underground is currently 35 or 40%. Over half of the casuals are still not aware of anybody besides Yee, Ken Carson, Summers. They might be familiar with the name, but they don't have an identity tied to a lot of these artists yet. But with the mainstream going down and the underground going up, we're just going to have to let time tell. And people are impatient. So we got these videos of people saying hip hop's dying, not nah, just transforming. And there's always highs and lows. So even if it seems like it's low right now, bro, you got to trust the process. And guess what? Once it gets fully established and implemented in everyday music like this current sound is, you're going to have young and saying that mainstream music is boring. The mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie. This nigga is spitting straight back. If don't even mind the camera unfocusing at this point, I don't know what the fuck going on. See, I don't even know. But to piggyback off what he said, he he right. Younger people are gonna be like mainstream is getting boring. That's why I might start making music and just start posting it. Not because I want to be famous, none of that shit. Just because you know we tired of hearing the same thing over and over again, and then just like it's just transforming. It's not even. I'm, st I'm still gonna listen to my future. The feds did this week. Real niggas nigga now. Real niggas nigga now. Link up my nigga, let link up. You know, it's still gonna be, you know, hit, but it's just not gonna be the main thing, the main topic. So, and, and I, I appreciate you for. But will continue, and that specifically goes hand in hand with all these people thinking mainstream music is boring. Listen, I debunked the idea in this video if you really paid attention. The truth is, it's not boring, it's oversaturated. When did I say this? When I was talking about waves. They start, they peak, and they end. Mm -hmm. And y'all think the mainstream lacks creativity, but in reality, the sound that's popular has just become burnt out. And if you weren't there when the ZZ snippet came out or like Fetty Wap's run, F Love with Trippy and X, but you don't understand, we were fully satisfied. That sound was refreshing. It didn't sound like nothing we heard before. You gotta be young if you think it's boring. Because while yes, after a long time, these sounds became overplayed and way too implemented in everyday music, this naturally will always happen. Like the book has to end and think about how many chapters we had and how many rappers we've lost. Not even just the Pop Smokes, the X's and King Von's. Bro, what about Lil Key, PNB Rock, Bass Scar, plus the rappers we got locked up, plus the rappers who are just straight junkies. And what I'm telling you is this wave is coming to an end. The same way that Steph and KD and Bron are retiring soon, 
It's the same way in rap and these rappers are getting subbed out for newcomers who got a lot of potential to go on and change rap music the same way they did. But of course, the only thing that could tell is time. So we're gonna have to let time tell and really see how it plays out. But of course, I appreciate y'all for watching greatly. And for y'all who mess with me, man, I had a whole video done on my MacBook. Cause I be editing on my MacBook still, even though I recently got a little desktop. But uh, yeah, that shit broke on me, bro. And my videos on there, it was a dope video about the relationships that go on with all these couples that are streamers. I'm debating if I should redo it or if I should wait to see if my MacBook is I right. it's in surgery right now. It got like shit from the Apple Store to it. All right, so so he just talking about some other shit, but yeah, he he ain't lying, cause new this this shit that that, that been going on and on since what well, he said 2010, 2011, it's starting to get oversaturated, overused, overplayed. That's why I'm finna get into my R and B slash rap bag shit. I might say me hitting them top top charts, but on like he said, only time will tell. I keep my faith in God. I keep I should come. Trying to make a name for myself. At first, then on top of that, then I'm going to start, you know, implementing my own flow to it. Without that being said, let's go ahead and get to these comments. It feels like underground music is not underground no more. True. difference between underground and mainstream is not presented by the numbers anymore. It is the fan base difference. Yeah. It's literally, it's literally just the audience and how people, you know, go ahead. This is the first person video that y'all seen that I actually commented on. I commented on other people's stuff, but, you know, this is actually the first one. Without that being said, this W video. Thank you. Ten toes on that. Without it being said, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Yeah, dear.